Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And did you know that a lot of people actually think that extended capacity batteries are a myth, and they don't actually exist, and it's some sort of trickery? Huh. Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, so a super highly debated topic right now, all the way from a technician all the way down to an end consumer, is that high capacity batteries don't actually exist. These extended capacities are not real. And not only that, but if for some reason they do exist, they're gonna hurt your phone. They're gonna damage it. You're not gonna be able to use your phone. You're gonna, you're gonna mess it up. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna remove all doubt I'm gonna dispel both of these myths and I'm gonna do it using an example from Apple. So without any further ado, let's jump over here to my other monitor and let's take a look-see here. And we can see right here that we've got this little bitty spreadsheet with a little bit of information about some of the older phones that they got, the iPhone 5, the 5C, the 5S. I've even got a page pulled up here for the iPhone SE, but check this out. If you look at the actual capacities of these batteries, you'll see that over time they slowly work themselves up all the way from 1440 mAh on the iPhone 5G all the way up to 1624 mAh on the iPhone SE. Now, that is super duper interesting because if you think about it, actually you don't have to think about it, you just gotta get out a ruler and get one of each of these batteries and measure them because the actual cell size is exactly the same. The only difference between them that make them incompatible between models is the FPC connector on the end. The little part that goes into the phone, that's the only difference. And that's super interesting because that right there is total proof that extended capacities can exist. What that really actually means is that over time they're able to pack more power into the same area. Okay, and that's exactly what high capacity batteries do now. So at a certain point, they stop really supporting a phone and really from the moment that they release a phone, they don't really release a battery with more power for that phone. If you went and got a new battery for a phone at you know the Apple store or let's just not even say Apple. If you went to Samsung, Huawei, any of these companies, Oppo, it doesn't matter. If you went and got an official battery replacement, it would come with the exact same capacity that it did when the phone first came out. And that's, you know, you, you could be getting a lot more than you would if you had just gone and got a third party replacement that had brand new cell chemistry. Hmm, interesting. New cell chemistry. So you can actually get a battery with chemistry that's current with today's technology that may be what they're using in like the new iPhones for today and they can retroactively put that cell chemistry in an older battery cell. Hmm. And I'm not talking about actually like unwrapping an old battery. I'm talking about a brand new cell. They're going to have that new chemistry. So you can actually have an older phone with a battery that actually has capacity based on today's technology. Now, I am i know I'm repeating myself, but for some reason, people just one ear out the other sometimes. But that's, that's, really, that's really it. High capacity batteries do exist, and let me just give you a little information. In 2019, that same iPhone 5 um, cell size, you can get, I think, right around 1800 milliamp hours right now. Hmm. Wouldn't that be nice in an old 5S? Now, I know nobody's probably using one, but if you were, wouldn't it be nice to get something with that much power in it? Speaking of power, speaking of all this, the other myth, the other thing that people are super concerned about, regardless of the fact that if these exist or not, is the fact that these high-capacity batteries are going to damage your phone. If you put one of these in there right now, your phone's going to stop working tomorrow. That's the facts. That's the truth, according to people that have no idea what they're talking about. All this, all, all of these extended capacity batteries, all they're really doing is packing more energy into the exact same cell size. They're not changing any of the voltages, none of that. It's just more energy to deplete over time. So, what's the deal? I really, really love 
for somebody to go down in the comments and explain to me how a high capacity battery could damage your phone because I'm going to need you to convince me the burden of proof is on you. But I do think we need to talk about one other small thing and that is why people have these 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 weird thoughts about extended capacity batteries and I do believe there is some validity to the whole situation. The deal is a lot of people don't really understand the background programming that goes into the actual gas gauges that I was talking about in a previous video that control a lot of, they control a lot of the input output of the battery itself and um, just general statistics of the battery. I have noticed here in China that if there is say a battery that has let's just take an example here we were just talking about the maximum that you could put into a 5 series cell was 1800 milliamp hours there are some people for some reason that say hey that's not good enough for me and my customers I need more now and what they end up doing is they play with the programming in the cell and they make it appear as though maybe there's 1850 or 1900, maybe 1950. Maybe if they're feeling real enterprising, they might even put 2000 on there just to make a sale. A lot of times you find these batteries on Amazon or on eBay and they're sold to people that just have no clue how to check on this stuff. And at the end of the day, they just say, huh, this doesn't really feel like 2000 milliamp hours last I checked I had 1440 if we're looking like an iPhone 5 and you're saying I got 2000 but it's not really lasting that much longer so the deal is the reason people have these feelings is because people lie about it you really if you want to get an extended capacity cell you need to do your research and you need to get it from a reputable source because believe it or not there are people out there you know I can, I can count you know probably 10 companies right now that sell legitimate high capacity batteries but it's kinda of what they're known for you know what I mean? Um, so that solves it. You can actually get a high capacity battery and no, they're not going to damage your phone in any way. But if you feel like they're going to damage your phone, I'm going to need you to leave a comment down below and explain the whole thing to me. If you need to get out a whiteboard and do some math, that's fine. But don't come telling me stuff because you feel it. Tell me because you know it and tell me how you know it. But other than that, I really just wanted to talk about these high capacity batteries for a second. The debates from all over the spectrum blow my mind sometimes. This is a really simple topic. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you really like the channel, hit the notification bell. That way I can annoy you every time I put out a video. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Don't forget guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.